Hi, James Burks of His Workmanship. One of the things that we do is we teach the Bob Roth style of painting. And have you ever wondered how Bob does those happy little trees? I'd like to show you. So follow along with us and let me just give you a quick demonstration of how he does that. Now to get started, Bob does a bit of an underpainting. And so he mixes up a nice dark color. Okay, and in this case, we're gonna use a little midnight black. And sometimes people think for a dark color, should I just use straight black? Well, you know what? If you mix a few other colors in with it, you get a much richer type of color. So we're gonna put a little bit of blue in there along with the black. You know what? We'll even add a little bit of a lizard crimson, a little bit of red to that. Mix that in there. I'll even take a little drop of sap green and mix it. I just want it to be nice and dark and all those colors just mix together to make a nice rich dark color. All right we've already got a nice sky started here so we're gonna put some trees and I'm gonna it's gonna be kind of a different picture it's gonna just be some tree tops and tree tops along the bottom of this canvas here and so I'm gonna take my fan brush all right and I'm gonna pull it through that dark mixture that we made flipping it over pulling it through so I get a nice edge like that on my brush, all right? And then here's what we're going to do. This is what uh, Bob does for the technique. He takes the brush, pointing it straight at the canvas, and starts to just add a little bit of what would be the tree trunk uh, on there, just kind of putting the tree in position, all right? Then with that nice dark color, he takes it using the corner of the brush now. And he just kind of bounces back and forth, flip it over. And just goes back and forth there, making those trees. We're doing evergreens today. So, just going to do a couple. And back and forth. Put that brush over. Nice and dark at the bottom. I'm just going to fill up the bottom of this canvas with tree tops. Yeah, I'm just bouncing back and forth there. And keep that nice and dark. Keep pulling that through. Add some more in here. Now, one of the other things that Bob does when he does that is he will go back with the pellet knife and put a little point on those trees. Okay, just kind of going up the center of the tree. Just giving that a little definition there. Nice sharp tip to the top of the tree there. All right. Now we want to highlight those trees and we'll be done with our little trees. All right, let's put a few trunks in here and then we're going to highlight a little bit of color over top of that. Uh, we're going to make our tree trunks brown. So we're going to take a little bit of red, a little bit of green. If you mix red and green together, you're going to get brown. So we're going to take a little bit of lizard and crimson with sap green. Mix those together. So we can get a nice brown color starting to develop here. So that's pretty good. We're going to add a little bit more lizard into that. A little more green and, and uh, red there, so I'm going to try to balance that out. A little bit more. Oh, that's much better. Much, much richer brown color. Okay. And now, because these trees are uh, tree trunks, we want to be seen in here. And just a little white, kind of light that up. A nice rich brown. Mix it up there with me. A little bit of that. A little bit of the and we're just going to go down the tree trunks. Lightly touching. And we're going to cover up some of that with highlight. But we want to get some indication on there where it does show through. Then we're going to highlight over those dark trees. That horse come to life. Whatever brush you use to draw in your background trees, use that same brush to highlight over those colors. So we're going to go back to our fan brush here. Pulling in some of that green. 
and remember there's going to be that same technique using your arm and brush kind of mounting over the top of some of those darks. We don't want to get rid of all of our darks, but we do want to kind of just choose a little bit. All right, so that's how we add some happy little trees. We added them onto our sky, and you know what? I actually haven't finished painting here. I kind of like it. So, again, check in with us again. We're going to be throwing out some more tips, painting tips, drawing tips, whatever kind of art tips we think will help you out, okay? All right, now, we'll do some art.